All right, I'm gonna tell y'all what burns my gears about uh, about uh, Matthew Stafford, right? About people Detroit room for Matthew Stafford. Now, I'm not talking about the Calvin Johnson era per se of fans. I, you got these fans. I ain't gonna lie. Mainly the brothers. That's what really bothered me too. But even the others. You know, that bothered me about rooting for Stafford. Now, we knew this was coming. Like I said before, I got nothing, no gripe against Stafford. He win, he win. I really ain't tripping over the draft pick. I said, if he win, uh, so be it, right? But my thing is this, bro. People in Detroit, especially the brothers and the sisters, I'm going to tell you what kind of like really burns my gears about, excuse me, Matthew Stafford, my neck stretched out, is that, you know, people, and also people of, of, of age, right? So, like, if you Calvin Johnson era type of person, right? Like, if you like 90, like, really 90. I'm going to say you really like 94, 95 and above. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about 94, 5, pre-94, 95. Especially guys who are, like, uh, 30 and up, right? Maybe a few late 20 guys and up, right? When you look at it, man, we grew up in Detroit. You know, I grew up watching the Lions through the 90s. We had to read the newspaper to find out what's going on. You had to wait to the late night uh, sports edition to, to know what's going on. You know, you know, everybody didn't have cable. My grandparents didn't have cable. So when I was over there, I spent a lot of time over there in the summer and the weekends. Um, I would read the paper about training camp and what they were write about training camp. I'm talking about them era that they like you came up in them eras where you had to read the paper to get your sports, you know. And it wasn't like the, the, the full media coverage that it is now. I'm talking about you guys, right? And check out the Trey Lines Talk playlist. And I'm pretty sure most of y'all know where I'm going with this, right? Because I watched as a kid as Barry Sanders asked to be traded by the Detroit Lions. And he was not traded by the Detroit Lions. And, okay, cool, he wasn't traded. But the fans had turned on Barry Sanders. And I'm not talking about the brothers or the sisters. The fans had traded on Barry Sanders because he had turned on Barry Sanders because he wanted to be traded. They turned on Barry, bro. He wanted to go to Miami, and they turned on Megatron. They won. He wanted to go to anywhere but our Detroit, and the fans turned on him. Right? They turned on him. Right? Oh, uh, you know, this, that, and the third. A lot of people turn, but they turned on Barry a lot. This this kind of not kind of be put in the history books. They turned on Barry hard. But Stafford quit on the team, right? He quits on the team. He 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 turns down the best deal. We would have ended up with a quarterback in the franchise left tackle with Sewell and Justin Fields. He passed up the best deal, said, I don't want to go there. They go out their way. And I understand it's Mr. Ford, it's Martha, and it's Sheila, but they all birds of a feather that flock together. And I see these grown, uh, middle-aged, uh, thirty-year-old and up brothers rooting for Matthew Stafford, knowing what they went through with Barry Sanders or any of y'all. No matter what your ethnic background is, to me, it's pathetic. Especially a lot of y'all who hated on hated on Barry when he traded. I lived it. I lived it when Barry when Barry was on the Hudson Building. He 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 gave Detroit everything he wanted and some. And a lot of a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all fans that hated on Barry, y'all was fine with him retiring and not playing again. Y'all was fine with that, bro. Y'all was perfectly fine with that. Y'all was bashing him because oh, Barry quit. Calvin, they did the same thing for Calvin. Calvin, but Stafford, oh, he just wants to get an opportunity to win a Super Bowl. And y'all know what the biggest difference is between them, because Calvin and Barry was a thousand times more talented than Matthew Stafford is at their position. Thousand more times, and, and if they did move to another team, a lot of y'all wouldn't be rooting for him. A lot of brothers be rooting for Calvin. He went to New England and went to wherever. Indianapolis got a championship. Y'all be rooting against him, but you root for Stafford. You root for Stafford. I ain't, I ain't mad at y'all. I'm talking to a Pacific portion, of, portion of y'all. Like if you 25, 26, you know, 26 and under, whatever, whoever you with, I ain't mad. I ain't talking to y'all. I'm talking about dudes predominantly 35. Uh, uh, in a 35 area, 40, 50, 60s, that irk my nerves, man. It irks my nerves. I ain't gonna lie, it bothers me, bro, that y'all forget recent history. How they, how, how the media turned on Calvin and Barry Sanders, bro. How they, how they turned on him, man. 
And a lot of y'all fans too, the ones that buy the tickets and fill up the Pontiac Silver on in, in Fort Field, y'all turned on them too. But when Verlander left, oh, it's all good. But at least, at least Verlander won something. He won a pennant. He won a pennant. Stafford didn't win nothing. Nothing. And he being put on a pedestal for what? For putting his shoulder back into place? For getting put to sleep by Julius Peppers? And in his run that he he having, he gave the game away last night. He threw the pick to Tark. Tark, Tark dropped the game winning pick. So it's not like he went to L.A. and changed his stripes to spots and went from a zebra and a leopard. He the same player, bro. They got an all-star team. They got three, count them, uno, dos, trace, three first ballot, not Hall of Famers, first ballot Hall of Famers. They got three of them. Tell me I'm lying. They got Jalen Ramsey. He going in first ballot Hall of Fame. You got Von Miller. He going in first ballot Hall of Fame. Aaron Donald might be one of top 10 to five front seven players of all time. He won a Super Bowl. He right there passing sack. Think about it for a minute. Three. I don't see nobody rooting for Elshon Robinson. Right? Three. Cooper Cup, best receiver in football. Odell Beckham, he ain't no scrub. Three. First round by the Hall of Famers. He didn't go to, like, Carolina. He went to Carolina. I'd be okay. Got to respect it. They like he went to Jacksonville. And they shall rise and they shall rise. He went to a super. Jared Goff got a worse team to the Super Bowl. That's a fact. But all y'all middle-aged dudes and dudes in y'all 30s and up for the most part, closer to mid to the early 30s, man, y'all rooting for this and y'all know what, what they did to Calvin and Barry. I'm not rooting against the dude. It's basically mathematics. I want to win my cash. I picked them to beat the 49ers. I picked him to beat Tampa Bay. I told y'all to lock it in. But acting like he went he went to an average franchise or above average franchise or team and did something that he wasn't supposed to, he got an opportunity that the brothers didn't get an opportunity to do. Even though they probably wouldn't have had the impact on those teams because they are not quarterbacks. Why wouldn't Calvin, uh, uh, you know, awarded the opportunity to go where he wanted to go? Not, not only was Stafford trading, they did what's best for Stafford before they did what's best for the franchise via trade. I say again, they did what's best for Stafford over the franchise. What did he do? What did he do to be awarded? And then they made Barry Sanders pay his money back. They made Calvin Johnson pay his money back. If Stafford was in that picker dick man, the good old boy club, keep your money. They let Andrew keep his money and he quit. He didn't do nothing in Indiana. Well, at least he took them to the AFC Championship game. Excuse me. Andrew took them to the AFC Championship game. That is a fact. Andrew took them to the AFC Championship game. He did. Joe Burrows, I'm talking about this tonight. In two, in two seasons, he took the Bengals from last to top dog, so almost. Come on, man. Who else, who else doing something like that, bro? Come on, man. And, 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 and I'm getting over to take my sweet old time. I hate people in Detroit. Y'all drive like y'all dope fiends, bro. Everybody. Especially the women in Metro Detroit. Y'all can't drive. And I said it. Tell call the feminist groups. I said y'all suck at driving. Except for you, Danica Patrick. You ain't from Metro Detroit. But women in general can't drive. Nigga, but my wife can drive this, that, and the third of them. That's an anomaly. Brother, my girl can drive. Anomaly. But, um, but, but yeah, I was saying, bro, like, they took the money from them in. Come on, man. If you know the Forest history, which I'm not going to get into Forest history, maybe I'll do a TikTok and talk about everything Detroit and historic facts about Detroit. Come on, bro. You ain't looking. Yo, Equinox. You know? Talk about the facts of Detroit, stuff y'all may or may not know about the great city of Detroit. And one of my TikTok, first TikToks would be about the, the sketchy history of the Forbes. Very sketchy. Some things you might not know. 
that can directly correlate with Calvin Berry versus Matthew Stafford. Just they may not know it. Y'all may not know it. So most of y'all do know it. But why, you know, why was he afforded the luxury of 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 of, of leaving and then getting rooted for? And then when Calvin and Barry didn't get rooted, uh, when they wanted to leave, yo, y'all, y'all was perfectly fine with them retiring and not getting the opportunity. They let Stafford do everything he wanted to do, and you know the answer to it. I don't have to articulate this answer. I don't have to spell it out. I don't have to say it. I don't have to say it. I don't have to say it again like the Ozzy brother. I ain't got to say it. And this ain't just the 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 uh this ain't just the the fan this ain't just the organization. I'm really pointing at a fan base. I'm really pointing at a particular age of men and women. I'm I'm pointing at them. And to me, for y'all to be sitting there rooting for this dude. Right? This just let you know everything that's wrong, wrong with the fan base. This let you know that it's, it's running deeper than them blindly buying tickets every season. And the Lions have done nothing since 1957 since the Fords acquired them. They've done not a single thing. And they still have a they still have this fan base that buy tickets every year, no matter how them the them the hope. Now, does Cincinnati give a brother like me hope that they can get it done? Absolutely. Absolutely they give me hope they can get it done. You know? But rooting for Stafford, it, 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 a lot of you them dudes and people, it, it burns my nerves, man. And you got the right to do whatever you want to do, and I got the right to rant about it. I'm not telling you I had a right, but this lets you know what's wrong with this fan base. This dude can celebrate and go where he pick where he want to do and do what's best for him. Why? I just want a logical. I just want a logical answer for Martha, Sheila, whoever they can dig up, Mr. Ford. I just want to answer. Why? I just want to hear you say it, bro. Sometimes I just want to hear somebody say it for vindication. I just want to hear somebody. I just want to hear them admit it. It ain't because they just like them. It's why they like them. Why was he afforded and not made to get back on the slave line? Like he said, they didn't have to trade me. He said that they didn't have to trade me where I wanted to go, and I'm, I'm appreciated for that. But why didn't Calvin Johnson and Barry Sanders, who did more for this organization than he ever did? Barry got them to the NFC Championship game. A lot of people thought they should have beat Washington that year. Why, was it, why wasn't they afforded that? And then, if you want them guys I'm talking about that's rooting hard for Stafford, I don't have a problem with you rooting logically. I don't have a problem with you rooting for him. But you rooting for him. And I seen the post say, man, this is the most Detroit thing ever in the Super Bowl. Eminem performing. And and, and and Matthew Stafford won. Eminem is no Detroit rapper. Okay? He don't sound nothing like the great city of Detroit rapper. Right? He don't. Detroit. Everybody thought the style of rapping Detroit was Eminem. He's not Detroit. And you could tell Royce the 5-9. You could screen record this. And I would obliterate Royce the 5-9 on wax. I will obliterate him on a debate about Marshall Man. They saying he ain't a Hall of Fame MC, Hall of Fame rapper, that he ain't innovative, that he ain't great. I'm not saying that, but he don't sound like Detroit. That's not the Detroit rapper we grew up. Eastside Cheddar Boys, Wipeout, Malik, Blade, Icewood. Keep going on and on. Big Hurt, Rock Bottom. That's Detroit. The boss, the female rapper, that's Detroit. That's what we sound like. So this ain't the most Detroit thing ever, bro. And like I said before, I'm happy for Stafford, but at the end of the day, all this, you know, popping him up, putting him on a pedestal, oh, this is like Detroit winning, and this, I don't mind y'all doing that. But I'm talking about the people, the, the Pacific people that I pointed out, that forgot about what the brothers that Calvin and Barry went through, who forgot about that. And they sitting there with their pom-poms on for Matthew Stafford. Forget that, bro. I don't respect it, bro. I don't have no issue with y'all rooting for him and all of that, but to that extent, how they did Calvin and Barry, how they was forced to retire, he was forced to do it. They ain't said, okay, they said, we're going to trade him. We're going to trade you what we want to trade you to. They let him pick the spot. Why? And Dominican Sue, Calvin Johnson, job at best, you know, carried that man, bro. Barry carried this franchise on a on his, on his shoulders. 
And that's why a lot of people in the Metro Detroit area, in the Michigan, especially the uh, Upper Peninsula and towards Mar oh, the Marquette area, all that, Michigan, Wisconsin stuff, that's why they are Packer fans, Steeler fans, Cowboy fans, and I understand, bro. I, I definitely understand it. On top of winning, there's a racial component to it, bro. It's Come on, man, it's messed up. It's messed up, bro. And I want to hear Chris Spillman speak on it, bro. I want to hear these people speak on it because it's messed up. That's, that's messed up, bro. And that's what we forgetting, bro. That, like I said, it ain't completely Matthew Stafford fought at all. It's a franchise thing. It's a fan base thing. I remember them slander and dragging Barry through the, through the dirtiest dark mud out there. I remember that all as a kid. I, I didn't pop up as a Lion fan when I started my channel. A lot of these dudes fake Lion fans. You know what I'm saying? If I wanted to get controversy started, I can expose a few of you dudes, bro. A few of you guys. These niggas ain't real. They got two teams, backup team. They real, real sports fans don't don't do that. You know, if Calvin went to Seattle, I wouldn't have became a Seattle Seahawks. I'd have been rooting like, oh, go ahead, Calvin. I ain't mad at it, but I ain't rooting for him. I ain't jumping ship. I ain't. I ain't getting a 1B or a number 2 team, bro. We don't people, real people don't do that, bro. Cool to root for Kobe and LeBron. And, and you know, I'm cool. But I ain't saying I'm a Laker fan now. I'm going down to Miami with them. I ain't mad at y'all, but the sports rule fans and commandments, bro. A lot of y'all ain't following them, bro. A lot of y'all don't have no shame in y'all game. But that's just how I feel about it, bro. I ain't mad at Stafford for when I told y'all from the beginning. I ain't mad at him for doing this thug thizzle. I ain't mad, bro. I'll go get your championship. But you ain't you ain't did nothing different. You just surrounded yourself with a super team. That's the fact of the matter it is. You did a Kevin Durant, but it's acceptable because not because it's Matthew Stafford or it's the LA Rams. It's acceptable because in football ain't nothing guaranteed. We've seen many of super teams put together. And not be able to finish the deal. So there is something to say about finishing a deal. You could put a whole bunch of time together on baseball and they can turn around and win a championship. Quick. Football is more camaraderie to it. Basketball is some it's a lot of camaraderie to it. So there, there's something to accomplish here. And one T nails in a Super Bowl, he's a Hall of Famer, bro. Instantly, he's an instant first battle Hall of Famer. But I just had to get that off my chest. Man, you got a lot of these brothers out here and these sisters out here, man. Ready to bunch they uh, hangs, underwear, these Ethica drawers, and they Victoria's Secret panties, and throwing Matt Stafford. Oh, I love you, Stafford. I just had to get this off my chest. And hopefully, I hopefully I if I hopefully I ain't offend nobody, but hopefully I did offend somebody. I feel some type of way. I just had to get that off my chest, man. I grew up as a kid, how they did Barry, man. Um, you know, and for me, the the Red Wings and the Tiger, the Red Wings and the Tigers, they won something. You know, since 1957, the Pistons won something in the 80s and then 2000s. They won 55, 56 games, 54 games in the 90s. You know what I'm saying? So they got a built up report. Me, I've never seen the Lions win nothing. Nothing. I've seen I've seen them win the Central Division, made to NFC Champ. I've other than that, Stafford didn't win nothing. But um, yeah. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you have a business question, inquiry, response, or video quest. All my social media links description. Twitter's the fastest way than Facebook and Instagram. All the links description. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link description. Best way to donate. Just thumbs up, share the video, subscribe, comment. Uh, next is subscribe us, bell icon button, hit all the notifications, Please share the notifications. Subscribe to my main channel right here on YouTube, Goodfella TV. Um, appreciate the love and support. Check the Detroit Line Talk playlist. Peace.